Now really I have no complaints about it. I mean, what is there to really complain about? Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Volkortsen Black Mumba 6 inch 22LR pistol. So first of all, let's show you what it comes with. We've got a uh, Volkortsen uh, tool there. We've got a sticker and a certificate of authenticity from Volkortsen. And then pretty much because the lower part of the frame really is just a Ruger uh, 2245, um, we've got all the standard promotional gear here from Ruger and naturally the Ruger Mark IV uh, manual. So I'll just show you all clear there. Now, uh, the Ruger pistols in general, I find ultra reliable, uh, especially in the 22 lr um, You know, for years doing the feral pest control, I always had um, a Ruger pistol in 22 as my backup, you know, and especially to put down, um, you know, feral pests that I uh, perhaps haven't killed outright and, uh, you know, I need to put them down. I found the 22 lr perfect for that and obviously, you know, in that pistol configuration. But for most of us, uh, you know, we'll be using this, you know, at different ranges here in Australia and really Volkortsen, I mean, look, I've been using their stuff for years now. Everything from tricking out the 1022 many years ago to, you know, their full custom builds like their 22 Magnum. Um, and also various of their pistols and the different pistol parts. You know, I've had a lot of experience with that and I can honestly say their stuff is very high quality, um, you know, and a pleasure to use. So I'm expecting a lot out of this pistol. It's pretty much their custom, um, you know, upper part of this put onto a 2245 Ruger uh, lower frame, okay? so. Uh, we'll run you through some of the more custom parts that they've got here. So it's a six inch um, match barrel. It's threaded at the end for half inch by 28 TPI. Now it does come with their own compensator, but look, I removed that I particularly didn't um, want to have it on there. It's uh, got integral uh, Picatinny rail um, underneath. So if you want to put a uh, light or a laser, you can do that uh, on top. Also, you can put a red dot. The target sights on it are adjustable for windage and elevation, and we've got that high vis. I'll see if I can bring that up to the camera so you can possibly see it. We've just got the high vis uh, green front sight there, so it comes up really nice to your eye there as well. We've got their uh, competition uh, bolt, okay, and it's got that DLC or diamond like coating um, on it. Very, very smooth, you know, just. Uh, Pulling that back and cycling it, you can see that it's um, you know finished very well. Their trigger is a single stage trigger. Now it's basically their accurizing uh, kit that's been put into it. So you're going to have about a 2.25 pound trigger pull, which is just perfect. Nice little reset on it. Um, so you know I'm really looking forward to getting to the range, you know, and using this. Uh, the grip on it, uh, we've got a set of hoe grips. Um, you know, very very nice. Also, too, I really like their uh, upgrade with their mag release, okay, because you hit it and it just comes flying out. The magazine, they come with two 10-round magazines and they've got their own base plates on it. Other than that, it's just that standard uh, 2245 uh, mag from Ruger. So the lower frame on this uh, is polymer, so the weight of it keeps it fairly down, uh, 1.76 uh, pounds or uh, 800 grams in uh, weight so you know i find it quite comfortable in the hand i don't think i'd actually get tired with shooting you know with this at the range all day great thing about uh, the ruger mark IV in general and obviously this pistol is no different is the um takedown so you know you have a very very easy takedown for this for cleaning so all you do is you just push the uh, takedown button at the back and just lift up, okay? So you can take your bolt out from there, you just unhook, <laughs> uh, you know, the upper part 
uh, with the barrel there and you can just clean everything so so easily so um, I think it's just an incredible design there that Ruger did initially and Volkortsen have obviously just added their customization to it. Okay, so price of this guys, you're looking at around $2,400 here in Australia. So look, not cheap, um, but as I say, you know, everything Volkortsen that I've used previously um, has been really good and of a uh, high quality and a high standard. So let's get out to the range now, put some rounds through this great little pistol and have a heap of fun. Okay, so we'll run you through the ammo that we're going to use through the Volkortsen. So we'll start off with the CCI standard velocity, which is a 40 grain uh, round nose. Then we've got some of the Cellular and Bellet um, Club ammunition. That's also a uh, 40 grain round nose. SK Standard Plus, uh, which is also 40 grain round nose. Then we've got some uh, Federal Premium Target, which is 40 grain round nose. And then we've got some high velocity CCI Mini Mags, which is a uh, 40 grain uh, round nose. So yeah, let's just uh, see how we go. We'll start off here at uh, 10 meters and we'll just fire uh, 10 shots at the target and just see which ammo the uh, Volkortsen prefers. Okay, so looking at the different ammos there, guys, look pretty much the same, isn't it? Uh, I think I'll probably favour the CCI uh, Mini Mags, just because I want that little bit more knockdown when we start playing around with some of the rimfire gongs here. So we'll see how they go now. So loading in the magazine is very simple because you've got this load assist button on the side. So the rounds can just slip in and you can load them up fairly quickly, which is good. So it'll save your fingers, you know, when you're at the range and enjoying shooting hundreds of rounds. So yeah, I've had absolutely zero problems with the magazine. Uh, feeding, everything has just been ultra reliable. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap up my final thoughts on the Volkortsen pistol. Now really I have no complaints about it. I mean, what is there to really complain about? Uh, the bolt is just extra smooth, 
feels fantastic in the hand. Magazine, ultra reliable, feeding, extraction. Trigger is very lightweight and just a beautiful little reset. So once you work out that reset, geez, you can get uh, those shots off fairly quickly uh, and with decent accuracy as well. I love the uh, open sights on it. That uh, green high-vis front sight just comes straight up to the eye uh, very nicely. I like how we've got the Picatinny rail there uh, and even at the bottom. So should you want to put a torch on it or if you want to put a red dot, I mean, those options are available to you as well. Obviously, we've got the threaded barrel there. So for those areas where it's legal to have a um, suppressor, you can use that. Um, you know, more so for Australian conditions, you can put a muzzle brake on it, you know, so it's just got that uh, little bit different look if that's what you want to uh, achieve. But just overall, guys, uh, just a beautiful, accurate, custom little 22. Um, I just can't fault it. Like I said, it just worked perfectly as you've seen on this video. All right, guys, we'll leave the review at that. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. So till next time, we'll catch you then.